again, welcome to Beginner Guitar Soloing uh, 1, 2, 3. It's easy method of learning how to navigate the neck in a, in a very easy, simple pattern of 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Or in this case, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. I promised you we'd get to it, and so here we are. So uh, the 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 method was, again, in any key of any minor key that we choose. But today, we're focusing on the major key. So um, if you haven't seen our previous lessons and, and have an idea of what we're talking about here, um, go back and visit those so that you can get an idea about what patterns we're talking about and how that's going to work for you. Um, if, um, if you have, then stick around because we're moving from minor over to major and that's going to be a big deal for us. And we can, uh, again, take one more step in this journey of learning the guitar neck and making it enjoyable, making it musical and making it fun in a simple, easy way. So hang around and let's get to it. All right, so as promised, we're going to be talking about the major pentatonic scale versus the minor. Um, as we learned in our previous lessons, the uh, minor, we always started out, let's say we're in the key of E, box one. Okay, and again, this is very helpful if you go back and review or or have been a part of uh, the uh, lessons of part one, two, three, and four, because in minor, no matter what minor key it is, no matter what minor key it is, we find the root note that we want to begin on, whether that's in B or whatever it is. And if we're in B, then we're going to go a full step down to the next note, which in this case would be A. If we're in E, we're going to go down to the next note, right? or one full step down to D, and we would start our minor pentatonic run by counting one, two, moving up a string, one, two, three, going up another string, doing one, two, up another string, right? So our minor pentatonic is always one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Now, when we're talking about major, we're going to flip that a little bit. We always had one, two, one, two, three. Now we're going to be doing one, two, three, one, two. Okay? But instead of starting that first note down a full step or, or down a note, we're going to maintain our position on the, on the, on the root or the tonic. In this case, E. We're going to go ahead and do E. Okay, so right now we're going to go ahead and put the fretboard up here with the notes that were needed uh, or that we're looking at in order to do the major pentatonic. Okay, in this case, it's going to be in the key of E major. So we're going to go to our tonic, wherever that is. That's where that's going to be our starting place. Just find the E note. Okay, so in this case, we're going to start on the low E, but we're going to start on the octave or the 12th fret octave of E. Okay, that octave's everywhere. So instead of going down a full step, right, we're going to stay, as you'll notice here on the screen, we're going to use the red, the orange, the yellow, then the blue and the purple. Okay, so we're going to start off on the red, which is one, two, three, one, two. So the red is one, two, three, orange, one, two, yellow, we move up a string again, one, two, three, we move up again, one, two, we go up a half a step, remember? Because the way the guitar is strung, we have that B, so we have to go one, two, three, and not notated in color are the 19th and 21st fret, because they're hard to get to. So we're just going to follow the color codes right there, and this is major. Now minor, we would be doing one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. 
But in this case, we're doing major, so we're going to stay on the tonic or the root note and go one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. It's as simple as that. Red, orange, yellow, blue, purple. And then whatever color you want to be the last two notes. Okay, so go ahead and find yourself a backing track uh, online. Just look up E major backing track or backing track E major, something like that. And you can practice these little notes over each one of those. I don't think I have one up right now. I don't know what I got going on. Yeah, I do. Uh, okay, so I'll go ahead and play along in one of those real quick, just using this same pattern. Okay, I've got some delay and all kinds of stuff going on. It's kind of loud, but... All right, and we're going to go ahead and fire that up real quick. Hopefully that made some sense real quick, <clears throat> just utilizing those notes. Okay, that's the first section um, of the red, orange, yellow, blue, purple, right? We're going to go ahead and move this scale up a little bit and uh, hang around with us. And Or actually, I'll be right back and I'll get those posted. All right, right here we have our new fretboard, um, again using the same color code of red, orange, yellow, blue, purple. And uh, this time we're just moving up the scale a little bit instead of starting on this root note. Right, we're going to start on this root note. So we have our red one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Again, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. So hopefully after watching the first portion of this video, you get the concept for this one. Same notes, in fact. We're just up a little bit. Now the one, two, three, one, two, it works in any key. All right? For if you're wanting to play major. So if we're in A major, for instance, we can do one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. Say we're in G major. We can just start on the G and do one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. Doesn't matter. F sharp. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. I have to kind of bend that one, but you could start at your F sharp up here if you wanted to. Oops, sorry, I messed that up. If so, F sharp here. Thank you. 
Okay, that's enough of that. A little blackberry smoke for you. Anyway, um, so it doesn't matter what key you're in, um, as long as you find your root note in major, whether it be G here, it's always going to be one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. If you're on here, one, two, three, well, you, you don't have any further to go, but if you have one, two, three here, then you have three, two, one, one, two, three, two, one, one, two, three, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Anyway, any key doesn't matter. Okay, so doesn't matter what key you're in, your first note in the one, two, three pattern, so it's one, two, three, one, two this time. Okay, any note works. Now, again, go back and review the previous lessons because in the previous lessons we learned about a or we learned about the minor key, and the minor key does not always start on the time. I mean, you can if you're doing if you're doing the box, I guess. But the box leaves you boxed in, right? But if you start... Anyway, go back and review those lessons. You'll understand a lot more about where we are right now. Again, we're stepping through the, the learning process and making this more enjoyable, easy, not a lot of memorization, but a whole lot of fun. All right, so uh, anyway, follow along those. Again, find a jam track and, and play along. And uh, I believe in you. You can do it. And keep at it. All right, hopefully you've enjoyed all the content, uh, or hopefully you've enjoyed this lesson. Uh, it's, again, an easy flip-flop from the 1-2, one, 1-2-3 two, one, two, method to the 1-2-3, one, 1-2 two, one, two method. And that's as easy as it takes to go from the key of uh, minor to the key of major, or from the minor key over to the major key. It's that easy. Really not a whole lot to it. Again, if you did like this content, please like and subscribe. And uh, join us again next time when we uh, cover some or take the next step in our in our guitar soloing journey and uh, keep learning together. So until then, you know, take it easy, have fun, and God bless.